Hello everyone. In this video, we'll talk about Lubuntu versus Kubuntu. Well, both of these Linux distributions are based on Ubuntu, but both of them have different applications and have different desktop environment. Other than that, the kernel and low level system utilities are same in both of these Linux distribution. So let's see what do we have different in both of these Linux distribution and which one we should go with in order to have a Linux distribution. Well, I will start with Lubuntu. If we talk about the user interface here, you can see we have some of the directories and you can say some of the applications at the desktop. And down here we have taskbar. In taskbar, we have some of the applications pinned and here we have some of the desktop. For example, if I click on this number, here we have desktop 2, then we have 3 and 4. It means we have 4 workspaces available by default into our Lubuntu. Then on the bottom right side, we have some of the utilities like we have volume, then we have date and time, and we'll also have the notifications in here. And other than that, we have some of the other utilities about networks and other things. Now, if we talk about the desktop environment, well, Lubuntu use LXQT as its desktop environment. If I write here about, here you can see it says about LXQT. It means Lubuntu uses LXQT as its desktop environment. And here we have all its related information in here. There is one thing that I really want to discuss in here. And that is if I right click on my screen and if I go to my desktop preferences, I do not have a lot of things to do. For example, I only have general settings, background settings, then I have slideshow and advanced settings. I do not have a lot of settings and I cannot do a lot of stuff in terms of the desktop preferences or you can say in terms of the desktop backgrounds. As you can see, we only have limited number of background that we can have in our Lubuntu. Other than that, if we talk about the default applications, here you can see we have limited number of applications. In terms of accessories, we have these numbers and these applications, then we have some of the games. Then in graphics, we have some of the tools that we can use. Then in internet, we have Firefox as a default web browser. Then in office, we have LibreOffice by default. And then we have some other applications. But in general, these are very less number of applications that comes with Lubuntu by default. But for a lot of user, this might be a good thing because many Linux users likes to have minimal things in their Linux distribution because they want to have only those things as per their liking in their distribution and they like to download and install them as per their liking. And now I will open my terminal in here. Here it is. I will just open it. In here, I will open a utility that is top. As you can see in here, my Lubuntu is using around 500 megabytes of my RAM. It means it's not heavy on my hardware resources. It's a very lightweight. As it is a lightweight, in terms of hardware requirement, you will need to have at least two gigabytes of RAM and 10 gigabytes of hard disk space to install this Linux distribution onto your system. That shows Lubuntu is a very lightweight distribution that you can consider as a Linux operating system. And that was all about the Lubuntu now let's move towards the Kubuntu and let's see what does it has to offer. So this is how Kubuntu looks like. Again, I'll start with the user interface. We do not have any applications or any directories on our desktop, but at the bottom we have our taskbar. In here, we have some of the applications that are pinned in here. And on the bottom right side, just like Lubuntu, we have date and time and calendar along with it. And then we have some of the utilities like volume, notifications, etc. Now, if we talk about its desktop environment, Kubuntu uses KDE Plasma. If I right click on my screen, here we have a lot of things that we can do because KDE Plasma offers a lot of stuff in terms of desktop environment and customizing your distribution. Unlike Lubuntu, Kubuntu allows you to do a lot of customization. I will just click on my application menu button and from here I'll go to my settings. After that, I'll go to my system settings. From here, you can do a lot of stuff unlike Lubuntu. As you can see, you have different category for your workspace behavior, windows management, shortcuts. Then you have your personalization section 
and same goes for network, hardware and many more things. So that shows that Kubuntu allows you to have customization as per your liking. Not only that, we have themes like light one and the dark one. And if you remember, in Lubuntu, we had four desktop by default at the bottom of our taskbar. But in here, we do not have any one of these. For that purpose, you have to add your desktop on your own. For that purpose, just search for desktop, go to your virtual desktop and from here, you can add as many desktop as per your liking. And now if I click on apply, here you can see five of the desktops have been added onto my taskbar. So this is how you can add these and that shows that Kubuntu allows you to have a lot of customization as per your liking. Now let's see what do we have in terms of appearance or let's see what do we have in terms of wallpapers or background. Here you can see we have different themes that we can go with and then we have plasma styles, we have colors, we have fonts, icons, cursor and many more things. And that was all about the appearance. And now I'll go back and I'll go into the about section of this system. Here it is. Here it says system information. And here we have all the information about the system. Like we have KDE Plasma version 5.22.5. Then we have its framework version. And down here I have my hardware information. I will just close this one. And now let's talk about the default application in Kubuntu. If I click on my application launcher button. Here I have all the information about all the applications. We also have the categorized division of all the applications in here. For example, in terms of internet, we have Mozilla Firefox as a default web browser. Then for our mail client, we have Thunderbird Mail. And for Office, we have LibreOffice. Then we have settings, system, utilities, and many more things. That shows that Kubuntu has more applications to offer as compared to Ubuntu. But at the same time, there is a probability that Kubuntu will be using more hardware resources than Lubuntu as it is offering more customization and has more things to offer. So to confirm it, let's open our terminal or you can say console because in KDE Plasma, it is named as console. I will just open this one. And now again, I will open a utility named as top. So here you can see my Kubuntu is using around 850 megabytes of RAM that shows that Kubuntu is a bit heavy on my hardware resources and it was expected. At the end, I will talk about the hardware requirements that are needed to install Kubuntu. Well, to install Kubuntu onto your machine, you should have 4 GB of RAM and you should have 20 GB of hard disk space and you will enjoy your Kubuntu. At the end, if I were to conclude, I would say both are good at their own places. Lubuntu offers you to have minimal things and allows you to install only those things as per your liking. But at the same time, Kubuntu offers you to have a lot of customization and offers you many things. So it is all up to you that with which one you want to go because both of these are based on Ubuntu and use APT to install anything into your system. And that brings us to the end of today's video. We'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care.